<laughs> yeah, if you have been a master all the time, you can't be anything else except some kind of master. Remember, I take my vow, like I will save all my, uh, I say, even if I'm born as a human, although very suffering and the life is n nothing good here for me, but much, still much better than beings who fall into hell and suffer every day, every second. So if I have any merit at all at that time, yeah, my two monks and nuns, teacher tell me to make a wish. I say, if I have any merit at all from now, past life or in the future, I will give it all to those, the worst suffering beings. And then I can be reborn again and human as long as I can be a human again and I earn more merit. You know, just don't put me in hell because I cannot earn any merit there. <laughs> just let me come back to become a human, even though human life is nothing interesting. It's suffering, but still better than being in be hell like other people. So I, I can share my merit, whatever I have to those people, to the being, the worst one, the worst suffering people. And then all the incense girl, remember that? Yeah. Yeah. If I knew what it is, I probably did not. <laughs> no, no, I, I should have known. You know, my soul knows. That's what I'm saying. If you practice spiritually, even if you were reborn again as an ignorant woman, you will not lose it. Otherwise, why would a girl, 20-something years old, you know, seriously in front of the Buddhas and the monks, teachers, make such a vow like that? Yeah? Why? Nobody teach me that. It's just natural, because I had those seeds in a former life. That's why I make such a wish. And normally you would wish, okay, I have a good husband now. <laughs> you know, I'll be rich, or at least something. Huh? Or maybe uh, help me to uh, be enlightened, at least, you know, something like that. But no, I want to give all my merit to the most suffering people, uh, most suffering being, and, and content to be reborn again as human so that, you know, all the merit will be given away. So if I have not studied before somehow some, uh, with some enlightened master or being a master or something to do with that, I would have never come to this thinking to make a wish like that, right? It's logical, right? Yeah, I only met the monks a few weeks before that. And I only read Amitabha Sutra or Kwan Yin I have not even been given this sutra yet. I wasn't worthy <laughs> to be reading this. Yeah, my, my teachers say that. Uh, it's very good. They subdue my ego. Yeah? They praise me that, oh, I want to be Buddhist. This is very good. You have good merit in the past, for sure. But still, on the other hand, they put me down. You are not worthy to, to see this sutra yet. They give me some small uh, medicine Buddha, you know, some very harmless and simple. Oh, Kwan Yin Bodhisattva, if you recite her name, uh, she protect you, something like that. But this one, no. After a while, she gave me Kristikapa Sutra, you know, the Buddha that uh, stay in the hell, but not this one, no, <laughs> after a long time. So at that time, nobody teach me anything about dedicating merit to the other suffer being. So it must have been the seed from former life. Yeah? That's why I told you, if you practice now and you're humble enough and you just don't uh, think you are sage, then even if you die and you have not reached uh, the complete uh, liberation, you still have the seed in you and you continue being a good human yeah? or being a charitable person and earning more merit and then continue your path. Yeah? Mm. But I don't want to let that happen to you. <laughs> Even if you're low or high, you go up first. <laughs> don't, don't stay here. No. <laughs> because if you get out of this, even if you're in astro or second level, it's easier to find master there, you know, because you already learned something with me. So you are not just a nobody. <laughs> they will let you enter in this, meditation hall, that lecture hall, to listen to other masters, even if I'm not there. But I will not leave you. Of course I will not leave you. I will continue teaching you.